Hello, it is Mrs. Lister here, and I'm hoping this video will show you a little bit about what taking GCSE music might be like and what you might gain from it. So let me take you down to the music department and show you what a lesson might look like. Okay, when you pick GCSE music, it is a 70% practical course. Practical means learning by doing, it means performing, and it means writing your own music. Every lesson, we are doing practical work. Um, we always start off with class warm-ups because these help you to team build, to get on with your peers, to work together, and also to get yourself into kind of musical brain um, after lots of lessons being sat down at desks. It's a very different environment in the music classroom. A happy class is one that's achieving well um, and we do have a lot of fun in the music classroom. Okay, so one of the main methods of learning, um, we learn through doing. We learn all our music theory through actually being able to do it practically. So classroom workshopping is huge at GCSE. This is when we work together as a class. Sometimes it's led by me and sometimes it's led by you. Um, we will either learn a piece together and learn how to perform it together. Or in this case, we're composing our own song as a class. Everybody uses their own expertise. If you're a piano player, you play the piano. If you're a singer, you sing. And so on and so on. I like being able to do like a big group work in class and like being able to play around in the family and being able to learn. Okay, another part of learning music is working in smaller groups, creating ensembles, creating ensemble performances of a variety of genres of music. Again, you focus on your expertise. If you want to play guitar, you play guitar. If you want to play drums, you play drums. If you want to sing, you sing. You don't have to do lots of different instruments. You only have to focus on one. And then we also do informal learning, which basically means looking at where you're at and um, kind of having your own individual ways on how you're going to improve. In music, one size does not fit all. So I teach you in a very personalized way, tailored to what you need to improve on your instrumental skill. Sometimes that takes the form of videos, um, sometimes that's one-to-one -one coaching with me, and, and some of you will be lucky enough to have a peripatetic teacher. Okay, another avenue um, to take GCSE music is the technology avenue. We have just got a significant investment in a new studio, which means that if you're interested in DJing and beatboxing, that will now be an opportunity to take at GCSE. It also means we'll have a state-of-the-art recording studio for songwriting. It's really, really exciting, and if that does appeal to you, come and speak to me. Okay, so all the music you've heard has been performed and composed by students that have studied GCSE in the past. All our students who study music have been extremely successful. We are an extremely successful department and we get good GCSE grades. And that's because the students who pick music love the subject and are committed to putting the time in to improve. There's a lot of independent work because of the personalised nature of learning an instrument. Um, it means that you need to be trusted to put the time in to get that improvement. And if you do that, you will be extremely successful. There's an awful lot of enjoyment that goes with that hard work. And um, we generally find that the classes form close bonds with like-minded students.
at the end of year 11, you're assessed on three skills to get your grade. The first is performance, how well you play or you sing. The second is composition, how well you uh, write your own music. Um, and the third is listening and appraising. The listening and the appraising is an exam, but it is only worth 30%. For some, music is a career, and for others, it's a hobby. Either way, like performing and composing and doing music stretches your brain in a different direction to any of your other subjects. It increases your brain's capacity and makes you cleverer. So employees love to see music on your CVs because it shows that you can be committed to something. It shows that you can be disciplined to practice and to get better. And it shows um, the ability to problem solve and work together as a team. These are all skills that are transferable throughout your whole lives. So choose music if you love it. Choose it if you're prepared to work hard. Um, choose it if you want to learn in a more practical way and have a different um, you know, style of learning in, amongst your week. It's a fun subject. There's lots of laughter um, and there's an awful lot of hard work and, and an awful lot of achievement and that sense of pride that goes with studying this subject. Um, please do come and chat to me more if you are interested. Bye for now.